Fight Clock is brought to you by Modo. Oh! In the black, Masvidal in the red. Southport versus Orthodox. Oh! Early from Till. He floors Masvidal. His left hand landed by Darren Till. Puts Masvidal on the canvas. Looking to take his back. Good scramble here from Masvidal. Getting back to his feet. Ooh. Not out of pressure. Big smile on his face. Good start from Darren Till. Not many people are have the ability oh, to nice. floor Masvidal. And there we see Masvidal catch his kicks really well. We saw it in the Cerrone fight. And he counters right away, wastes no time. Inside low kick for Masvidal. Colin Heron told me that they've been working on some new tricks. And we hadn't even seen the full arsenal of tricks that Till possessed before this contest. And he's going to need them against the wily veteran Masvidal. So much experience. Take down attempt from Masvidal, throwing shots over the top. They knew that single leg was coming as well, the Team Cowboy guys. Oh, nice left hook there from Masvidal. Good combination by now Game Masvidal moving forward. Darren Till calling him on. Oh! Again, Till got caught by two shots there. I'm telling you, the boxing and the counter work of Masvidal is not something to sleep on. Absolutely not. Looking to engineer a way of landing that big left hand, I'm sure, as he caterpillars his way through, but lovely work by Masvidal, catching in that Till moment, on, the, on the attack. In that moment, Darren Till stepped in with a straight left, and Masvidal hit him with a three-punch combination. And I'm not necessarily saying that the power in the shots was the same as the left hand in Darren Till, but, you know, the, the, the punch strike is, is racking up. Uh, Masvidal is landing shots and, and forcing Darren Till to reconsider when he lunges in with that left hand. Yeah, because he goes to that so often. That's such his power shot. Oh! Oh, oh is that? Oh, oh my God. God! What a finish for Jorge Masvidal! Jorge Masvidal gets a, a massive shot. knockout win wow. here in London. He silences oh, the crowd. Man. Wow! Unbelievable! Unusual entries. Game bread is in the building, and these guys just flapping gums at each other. Any chance they get. The fight clock is brought to you by Modo. Oh! Oh! Wow! One of the greatest knockouts you'll ever see! Oh my goodness! Aspen stiff as a ball! Oh my goodness! Vidal has just made a statement. And he has just turned in the fastest knockout in UFC history. What is that, three seconds? Five, Five seconds, seconds. Wow. the official time. That, that dude was talking wild, man. You know, I had to show him that there's consequences sometimes. There's some bad mother out there and you don't want to wake him up. You should have kept your mouth shut. I probably would have beat you up in the second round, you know, but uh, I'm so happy though. <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> this, is real. this is so ridiculous and so awesome at the same time. And Diaz immediately with pressure, always. That is the style. Constant pressure, spectacular endurance, excellent boxing. And he will stay on you, stay on you. And this is where he wants to be, right in this clinch. Once he gets those hands locked, this is just where he's comfortable. Has amazing arm bars and triangles off his back. Masvidal some good shots in the clinch. Nice oh, Albert lands. Makes oh, her, makes her. Oh, oh, got oh. a kick. Albert Landis trying to survive here early. Big first minute for Masvidal. Cut him with that elbow, bad, and then was able to get him down afterwards. But Nate doesn't go away easy, as we know. And he's not hurt too bad anymore, I don't think. We'll see, though. Oh, oh he's oh, hurt. He got him again. He got him oh, again. Diaz covering up. Those are heavy punches. Nate's in big trouble here. Cutman did his best to work on that eye above and below of Nate Diaz. This place is absolutely deafening, to quote my man Joe Rogan. Here we go, round two. You're going to see Jorge keep stabbing at that cut with his left hook. The pressure that Nate Diaz puts on you. I mean, 
always moving forward. And Masvidal's finding homes for those shots. But I'm interested in, in, in is what happens if Diaz is still here. And he's still doing this, and keeping this pressure on you. I mean, he finds a way. So, and that's one thing he can do that he hasn't done yet. Oh, oh. oh. huge right Perfect. for Gangren. Perfect right and hand. Body shot. And body shot hurt. Diaz forced to go down. He literally got hit in the face and said, F you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Kicked to the stomach and laid down and said, come down. <laughs> and this time, Masvidal, I think, wisely allows Diaz back to his feet. We'll see the extent to which he has recovered. The accuracy of Masvidal, very impressive. He's a five-round style fighter. Those benefit him the best. He caught him with the right hand there. Oh! Land with the left for Diaz. Masvidal with the right hand follow. Oh, oh my hand oh. Does that kick to the body again? As advertised, this BMF title fight thus far. Those body kicks make a huge difference for Masvidal. Every time he lands it, you see it. Giant difference. And that's one thing that's kind of missing from Nate's arsenal. He yep. doesn't throw hard kicks. He's got two weapons to four of Masvidal's. Oh! And he keeps landing for him heavy, too. Diaz is durable as they come. He's not letting Nate just stay on him and throw those punches like this. He's moving off, and then when he gets his shots off, they're very significant, and Nate is forced to pause. And I think what's really helping him control the pace, Joe, is the body kicks, the body shots that Masvidal has landed has kept Diaz from marching forward and had him had to take steps back himself and get his air. But like I said, four and five are the rounds for Diaz that he enjoys the most. It's a mar he's more of a marathon fighter than a, than a quick sprint. Step past that right knee of Masvidal if he can do it with that lat throw, but he doesn't get it. Masvidal feels it, goes to a half Nelson, controlling the waist. And that game, that took away the throw attempt. Masvidal, big shots from the top. Yeah, crazy output here on the ground. And crazy damage on that left side of Nate Diaz, man. They're talking to each other. We need a BMF mic. <laughs> The doctor's say? waving it off. No way. Uh, what? Wow. No way. Dana White immediately out of his no seat. Way. I'll be honest, that's, that's something I was thinking about in this fight. I remember when I got cut, I was thinking they could stop this at any moment. I need to pick up the pace. And that's something Diaz was doing, but you always got to watch out when you get a cut. The doctor could stop it at any oh, moment. Oh, my goodness. Well, the, the ringside position isn't concerned with the crowd and, and his public approval rating. He's trying to protect the fighter, but certainly an anticlimactic end to this BMF title fight, but Masvidal was brilliant.